So I just finished my my fourth session on this painting and uh, hopefully I'm gonna get to put a few more sessions into it as well. But I've recorded all the sessions, so I'm gonna jump back to day one, which was several weeks ago. And I'll sit in the studio and do a little voiceover of my thought process as the painting develops. So here it is. And the painting that we're gonna be doing is a 36 by 48. And when I paint this size, I like to use this Beauport easel. It holds a nice big canvas. And then for my palette, I just use my standard easel, which is the Yarka. And this is the scene that we're gonna paint. To me, it feels like a stereotypical Bitterroot Valley scene with the big snow-capped mountains in the back. There's canals running through the valley, but we're gonna crop it down to about like this. We have the nice canal coming towards us, and I'm actually still debating on whether to put this fence in there or not. Nice long shadows stretching across the valley and the big mountains in the background. In my workshops, I talk a lot about doing preliminary sketches or thumbnail sketches, trying to figure out where you're gonna go before doing a bigger painting. And that is not what I'm doing here. I actually make a little mark right there on accident, but right here, I'm just mapping it out in my mind, trying to figure out, is everything gonna fit where I want it to? Am I gonna get the whole scene that I want with the canal coming towards me? And then right here, I pause for a second. I realize it's gonna fit, and I just go straight in to drawing out my composition. After I'm happy with the drawing, I jump straight into the shadow color. And at this time of day, the light is moving so quickly. And I'm trying to get as much done as I can in this first session, but knowing full well, I'm gonna work on this for many, many sessions to come. After the shadow, I move straight into the light, just blocking it in quickly. And after that, I move over to the canal. suggesting the tree up here in the top and then just blocking in the rest of the canal. And I'm not really trying to be specific about too many things. I'm just trying to hint at everything in there. And with these mountains, I really wanted to be very particular about about the drawing and about the shape of them because for the locals here, I want them to be able to look at this and have have no doubt which mountains these are. And so that's Mill Creek that I'm drawing right there. And the, the first canyon on the left is Blodgett. And so anyone who lives in this area, they're definitely gonna know which mountains these are. The first day I started this, there's a little bit of clouds in the sky, but it's pretty clear. On other days that I painted, the sky had some variation to it, but I decided to keep it a pretty clean and simple sky. This first day of painting was, was several weeks ago, and so the mountains still had a lot more snow in them, and as it's warmed up, of course, that snow has melted. In this line of trees here, when I first started, there was this nice light spring green on a lot of these trees. And over the few weeks that it took for me to do these four sessions, a lot of those trees greened up a lot. And here I'm using a wet mixture, just trying to suggest some of the changes that are happening on the top of this mountain. And that actually wraps up day one. And here we are back the second day. You can see this bottom right hand corner of my painting. It was so wet when I painted it that it lost the value. And so here I'm just going back in to establish this side is in shadow. I don't want that to be confusing at all. And then I'm just playing with these long shadows that are stretching across the pasture. And I noticed that I was just missing some of the warmth that was back here, making these mountains have this nice morning light on them. So I think I got closer to suggesting that with some of these tones that I put in. And then just jumping right up into the snow and the mountains. It's really nice, it's bright, it's popping off the sky. And then it also has these nice dark shadows.
and then going back to these canyon areas, this being Blodgett Canyon, and just trying to get enough information in there that it really feels like that canyon. And then jumping straight over to Mill Creek, again, trying to just get enough information for it to be unmistakably Blodgett Canyon and then Mill Creek Canyon. You can see the canal running back there and it's some rough water that's moving pretty quickly and I'm not I'm not capturing that even where I'm at at the end of the video I'm still not quite happy with that and so that's an area that I'm definitely going to keep working on. And you can see when I get to a point where everything is kind of established and blocked in I start skipping around the canvas all over the place and really it's just an intuitive thing for me. It's just a way that I like to work and that actually wraps up day two. Here on the third session, this is still another week, maybe two weeks from, from the session before. Everything is pretty much dry and I really like this feeling coming back in, feeling like I have a nice platform to start with and I can really start establishing more variety that's happening within the landscape. And you can see in an area like this that I'm, I'm trying to vary the, the surface of the canvas. I want there to be thick areas. I want there to be thin areas. I want there to be some, some wet kind of washed areas, maybe even some scraped areas. And that at the end, the canvas has a nice variety of texture. And this is looking at the reflection of these two trees down in the canal. So this bush here is something that I am not happy with at all. It's the bush right there on the canal. I'm not even certain that it's gonna stick around. And still just kind of roughly suggesting at at the water not being this smooth, flat surface, but it's something that's that's rough, there's waves, trying to just find some some variety in there that feels natural. And I felt like this reflection could really pop more, and then there's a lot of warmth in it on this particular morning. There's these nice little clumps of grass that I'm suggesting there. And this bush here is something that honestly, I'm not even sure if it's gonna stay. It either needs a lot more work and to just feel more natural than it is, or it's gotta go. And again, revisiting the water. And this is just the process that I work is, is, is suggesting things, moving on to another part, coming back and addressing it again and again. And I hadn't addressed the sky since the first session, so now this is actually on the fourth day. And then I decided I should go back in, clean the sky up a little bit, address the edges around the tree and some of the mountains. And after four sessions, 
this is where we're at. And, and I'm happy with this progress. I think the painting is definitely going in the right direction, but especially after sitting here and watching myself paint this, I'm really excited to continue pushing this painting. I've got to figure out that bush that's right there on the edge of the canal. But I certainly think that after spending some more time with this, this could be a really nice painting.